It's a beautiful morning here in Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm walking with the Word and I've been thinking about Isaiah chapter 6 verses 1 to 5. In these verses we read of the prophet Isaiah having a vision of God in heaven and this is an amazing passage, it's an amazing vision. Isaiah sees God in all his glory and his robes fill heaven and in this vision Isaiah sees worship, he sees these angelic beings proclaiming God's glory forever and ever and ever in this place of passionate crazy worship. I really believe this is what heaven is, it is a place of worship and when we on earth begin to draw near to God in worship we also draw near to heaven, we join in with the praise of heaven. Isaiah's response to seeing God in all his glory is amazing. I love this. What does Isaiah say when he sees this vision of God? He says, woe to me for I am lost. I am a man of unclean lips. I live among a people of unclean lips for I have seen the Lord. Isaiah's response to seeing God in all his glory is to realize that he is a man of unclean lips. I believe that in the church, our concept of sin and our concept of our own fallenness has been worn away. I believe that we don't truly understand how fallen we are. And I'm not just saying that for everyone else. I mean this for myself. I don't truly understand how fallen I am. I believe that's something that we've lost in society and we've lost particularly in the church. And when Isaiah sees this vision of God in all his glory, in heaven, in his holiness and his righteousness. It's this that prompts Isaiah to say, woe is me, for I am a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. Isaiah's realisation comes when he sees God in all his glory. Why is this important? Well, I believe this is fundamentally important. If our concept of our own sin and our own fallenness is worn away, if it's been eroded and diminished, if we don't truly believe that we're fallen short, we don't see how fallen we are, we'll never recognise how great our need is for God's grace. That's why this is important. This is all about grace. This, God's not trying to make Isaiah feel bad in this vision. This response from Isaiah is just a natural reaction to seeing God in all his glory. And it's not trying, this message isn't about trying to make me or anyone else feel bad. It's about seeing God in all his glory, in all his holiness, all, all his righteousness, and realising that we need his grace and it's there for us, readily available through Jesus.